Okay. I really wanted to share with you guys what's been going on. I was able to graduate from school. I am done with homework every single night. That was very tough because I had to like um, wake up early and then go to sleep late. And so that was taking a toll on me with church and everything. Um, it became like a lot going on and a lot of stress just knowing the things that I had to get done in my head was a lot of stress and so I'm glad I'm done with that I'm done with school I got my master's in family and children ministry and so it's a lot of counseling and therapy courses and so that's what it was um, for those that kind of get confused by the ministry part it's more like counseling like family I took courses marriage counseling adolescent counseling um, like children development like psychology like all those courses like that's what I was um, focusing on leadership also was part of it and so just learning how to help families go cope through like um, grief and crisis um, the whole attachment between parent and child like that whole aspect I was able to learn a lot more and it's been very helpful in the ministry and just in helping families overall so I'm glad that I got my master's and I'm done and so now I'm really going to be focusing on homeschooling my children and in the midst of all that um, last week my daughter started um, woke up with a fever on Wednesday and so she woke up with a fever and I was like wow she's because her little hands when she held me in the morning they were really hot and I was like she has a fever so we gave her medicine we're like okay maybe it's because she's teething right now it's normal I don't freak out she's my second daughter so I was like okay it's fine like if she really gets really hot we'll take her bath it should be fine and so I wasn't even considering taking her to the hospital even though it was um, she was pretty hot. She was 102 and so we just gave her medicine. It kind of seemed to calm down She was doing better. She was just playing around and things like that. So we're like, okay, whatever and then When it was nighttime I believe I oh then we started throughout the day I noticed that she had like three little marks on her leg they looked like mosquito bites so I was like okay maybe yes last night the night before um we had um cell groups and so I was like well maybe they they bit her when we were outside because it's happened to me before um every year I think there's a certain time where there's a lot of mosquitoes and they just they seem to like my blood and so um they bite me so i was like okay maybe she wasn't wearing any pants she just was wearing a onesie and her legs were exposed with like high knee socks and so i was like maybe they they just bit her and then that's what it was and so um i assumed there were mosquito bites or something bitter some kind of like bug or something but then um the the following day her legs like i could tell it was like some sort of rash allergic reaction something was going on and I'm gonna include the pictures here so you guys can get an idea of what it was um so she was she was having like very she was very fussy and it was all red and scaly and I was like what is going on with her skin and it was only on her legs like her legs not on the palm of her feet just her little chubby legs and so I was starting to worry because this is not just like a fever anymore this is a fever and this what I thought were like hives so I was like oh my goodness maybe she we gave her something she's allergic to maybe it's the detergent that I use but I was like that's not normal that it's only in her legs and so it was kind of weird I didn't know what to do and the fact that that night she couldn't sleep she was very fussy she was crying like something was bothering her like her cry like as mothers we know their cries and that cry was not one of the normal like Adara doesn't cry just for anything she if she cries she's hungry diaper or or something's wrong with her I took it to the hospital they told me that um if they asked if she had anything like new i told her that there was this one fruit that my husband gave her um uh in english it's called Padu? Padu? I don't know. But in Spanish, they call it something else from Salvador. I was like, okay, well, I really ate it. She was fine. She didn't even eat that much. I think she just tasted it. So I was like, I don't really think that's it because if she was allergic to that, it would have happened up here, not in her legs. Like, what? So I wasn't sure that that was it, but they just assumed um, that it was that fruit. And so then 
when I went to the hospital, she didn't really have it in her hands yet. It was mainly on her legs, so they didn't know what was going on. And so then they just gave me um, Tylenol, Motrin, and then the allergic um, medicine. So the allergic reaction medicine. So then I had those three medicines that I had to keep giving it to her. I gave it to her that following day. But it didn't seem to be working and it seemed to be getting worse because now it was all over her little bum and her private areas. Like that whole area was like red with a bunch of like um, spots that were like kind of peeling. And so it was, I could tell that it was burning and itching and I was like my poor baby. Like I tried to put like that rash cream um, that I have for like just in case. But that didn't seem to be working at all and so her fever was down but this this rash or whatever it was it was coming back so i was really freaking out because i this had never happened with Adeli, so I, I didn't know what, what was going on and now it was like all over her arms and so they were bigger like she has one right now like huge one in her arm and so they they were like all over but not in her belly not in her back and not around her mouth i at least that i could see there was nothing so i decided we decided to just take her back because Again, that second night, she wasn't able to sleep as much. She was very fussy. So we took her to the hospital again. And I was like, okay, this medicine is not working. Because it was supposed to start, like, if it was an allergic reaction, it should have start stopped the, aller the, the symptoms or whatever. And it was getting worse. It was spreading. So I was like, what the heck is going on? And so I went, took her again. They took me in this time because the first time they didn't pass me to a room. They just assumed that it was the allergic reaction. I guess they had too many people in there. They knew already that she had a negative test. So it wasn't COVID. It wasn't chicken pox. It wasn't an allergic reaction. But they didn't know what it was. So um, <laughs> it took forever. And so once I was in there, they're like, is she vaccinated? I was like, yes, yeah, she's all up to date for the most part, I think. And so... Um, they were all trying to like two doctors came in and then finally the third one they sent in a pedi pediatrician and He was able to be like yep. She has um hand foot mouth disease and I was just like no like what I was like how did she get that? And she's like well someone else um through coughing sneezing or skin contact Obviously it wasn't skin contact because I would have seen like this child is sick don't bring your child near my child. So I don't know how she got it. Um, my only idea is we're usually home every day during the week. The only days that we really do go out is when we go to the playground or we go out to eat. And I don't think we've gone to the playground in a while. And then usually when we do, we like, she doesn't play yet. She's little. Like, if anything, I just put her on the swing. Or on a high chair when we go eat and then that's the only thing i can remember on sunday of that week we went to eat fuss soup at koreatown plaza and so i put her in a high chair i usually clean it or ha i have the seat covers but i haven't carried it with me and this is the reason why i switched bags already because i just need to carry it with me and i needed a bigger bag so now i have a huge bag which i'll probably do a, a video on later but um <clears throat> so that's what i carry now with me because and i usually carry hand sanitizer and everything but i've been lazy and lots going on so i kind of been lagging on it but this is what happened so now i'm like oh my gosh no i need to go back to like being oh uh, protective because i don't know how my child got sick i'm assuming it was a high chair from when we went to eat i just sat her there and she touches everything so i'm assuming maybe a child was sick sat on the same one Nobody obviously cleaned the high chair, so then I'm assuming that's how she got sick because there's no other children at my church are not sick, so I don't know who could have passed it on. And now she passed it on to my poor little other baby, Arelina. Areli also has it. It's not as bad though. She had fever and the fever went down already, but now she had but she does have it on the palm of her feet and her palm of her hands. And it's not too drastic though. I'm hoping it doesn't get that bad, but it is pretty like I can see it um you'll be able to see it so she she's showing um mild symptoms so I already have the cream I'm using this cream um you I got it at Walgreens use it to put your family hands yeah so it's supposed to help with the itching I just rubbed it all over her 
and then I bought this other cream also that has honey and so once it starts drying it gets very scaly and patchy and dry so I'm putting that and so I'm waiting to take her a bath and kind of like scrub it down a little bit because her skin does feel dry and it's peeling off but I don't know if it like scrubbing would make it worse I don't know this is my first time I'm just trying to work with it and so then I'm glad they're both okay. Um, obviously, they can't keep in contact with any other children right now, so I work. I kind of isolate, isolated them, and we're not going to church. Um, it's been a week, and so I'm gonna wait this week as well, just so until they're 100% good before we go out again. And yeah, that's basically what's been happening. Um, it's been crazy and stressful but i'm glad my babies are okay um if your child has this i recommend getting that um calamine um lotion it seemed to help with the itching and irritation and things like that and then just get like a honey um moisturizer to go with it as well that goes with itchiness and like minor cuts and, and things like that to like help the skin um heal and yeah that's basically what I, I just wanted to share with you guys i will be posting a lot more videos coming soon homeschooling videos because that's where i'm heading right now i am planning to go back to work um i'm in the process of like applying to jobs and so that's all up in the air <clears throat> yeah i know baby and so, yeah, we are planning to right now focus on working, saving money, and then we want to move. I don't know. I'm, we're praying about it. I'm also praying that uh, we just get some confirmation of where we're going to buy our home because I, I've been researching different states. California is very very expensive and there's just too much going on here it's just like i want a slower lifestyle and so we're considering texas we're considering oklahoma and so or if we stay here in california we're considering like outside of la like either like palmdale lancaster um bakersfield or like apple valley or like i don't know outside outside um of la just in case because they're they are cheaper options out there um maybe even like more towards like banning or like those outside areas surrounding areas just because it's a lot more affordable and it just hurts like i do not want to buy an ugly house that's like a hundred dollars a hundred k where there's no yard or like a very small tiny yard when I can do the same thing out of state and it's a lot huge chunk of land so I don't know I'm praying I don't know where God wants us I'm praying that he confirms where we're gonna move to because I know we want to have more kids I want to adopt um Israel is on board with that he still finds it a little weird because it's like a new concept for him but he's he he's open to it and so I do want a dog we want to have the room to grow I want to have dogs and chickens and stuff like that so I don't know we're gonna see where God takes us and um for now we're gonna be focusing on their schooling and on my job and paying all that stuff so anyways um I was gonna share with you guys our morning basket but I think we'll do that for another video just because this video is probably a little too long already so I will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.